Over 2300 years ago, Hippocrates, the father of medicine, said, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. With each passing year, the present day researchers and scientists are rediscovering the truth of this time-honored wisdom. Welcome to the Whole Food Pharmacy, where eating healthy just got easier. Do you or someone that you know suffer from acid reflux disease, high blood pressure, irritable bowel syndrome, chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, migraines, ADD, ADHD, arthritis, diabetes, heart disease, or even worse, cancer? If we could go back in time to 1965 and ask that same question, do you think we'd get the same answer? The fact is that some of those diseases didn't even exist 40 years ago. What's more surprising is this. In that same span of time, since 1965, we've also seen enormous advances in medical technology. We have more doctors, we have more hospitals, and we have more pharmaceutical drugs. And what do we have to show for it? The sickliest generation in American history. These are all the medications that I have to take daily. This drug here is Lipitor. This keeps my cholesterol down, and this is about $140. This is my Fosamax. It's $142 a month for four pills. It was getting so it was more than my Social Security. So I was debating whether or not to eliminate some of them. Common sense says this is normal. Common sense says disease is just something that happens to you and that you just have to deal with it. Well, judging from the ever-increasing disease rates, we can see that common sense is indeed quite common. Uncommon sense, on the other hand, is rooted in the intellect. It has the ability to see the bigger picture and to recognize the truth. The processed food industry spends $33 billion per year to convince us and our children that it's normal to eat sugar-laden foods, junk foods, fast foods, and processed foods which typically contain high fructose corn syrup, hydrogenated oils, and trans fats. Thirty-three billion dollars is a lot of money, and advertising works. The processed food and fat food industries are serving it up. Americans are gulping it down, and widespread obesity and chronic disease is the result. From there, the masses are driven into the waiting hands of the highly profitable pharmaceutical industry. We have first and second grade children who are already showing signs of high blood pressure and high cholesterol. Even at that young age, they're being groomed to become lifelong customers of the drug companies. The problem is, is that most of the foods that are marketed to children are unhealthy foods. And the children are exposed to so many messages about junk food that the cultural norm around food has changed so that children think that they should be getting candy and cookies and chips and soda and these other junky foods all the time. Our children eat so badly nowadays that a quarter of elementary school age children already have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, or some other risk factor for heart disease. These are little kids and they already are on their way to a heart attack. There are thousands of pills that alleviate our symptoms while the simple underlying causes are ignored. Over 2300 years ago, Hippocrates also said, he who does not know food, how can he understand disease? It's a question that is answered many times over by the increasing disease rates we've grown accustomed to. By 2012, it is estimated that one third of the U.S. population will suffer from diabetes. In our society, the primary cause of diabetes is eating man-made carbohydrates such as white table sugar, candy, sodas, high fructose corn syrup, pasta, and white flour. For each person with diabetes, the pharmaceutical industry will earn up to $300 per month or more for testing supplies and medications. Imagine one-third of the United States, 100 million people at $300 a month. That's a lot of money. And the simple truth is this. The number one culprit in this fiasco is the American diet. Fast food, junk food, candy, chips, burgers, french fries and sodas, otherwise known as processed food. All foods fall into one of two categories, whole foods or processed foods. 
A whole food is any food that grows from the earth and is in its original form when you eat it, namely fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, legumes, whole grains and berries. All of these are whole foods. In your grocery store, the whole foods are what you find in the produce aisle. Most everything else in the store is processed food. Over the past century, nutrition experts have gained a fuller appreciation of the need for a whole food diet. Research began to show in the 1970s that certain patterns of eating, beyond vitamin and mineral intake, were influencing illnesses. By the 1980s, they found that populations that ate more fruits, vegetables, and high-fiber foods experienced lower rates of cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. The health benefits of whole foods is now taking center stage as the research frontier has shifted its focus to the thousands of phytochemicals found in whole foods that may have important physiologic effects. Here are just a few of the latest findings. Spinach and other deep green leafy vegetables contain a carotenoid called neoxanthin. Research published in the 2004 issue of the Journal of Nutrition shows that neoxanthin fights human prostate cancer in two different ways. Researchers at UCLA recently discovered that curcumin, a spice that's found in curry, kills nearly every cancer cell in the lab and blocks every single step in the progression of Alzheimer's disease. Researchers at the University of California, Davis, recently reported that apples and apple juice may help protect arteries from harmful plaque buildup. Citrus limonoids have been shown to help fight cancers of the mouth, skin, lung, breast, stomach, and colon. Researchers at Loma Linda University have found that by drinking five glasses of plain water per day, healthy people without any history of heart disease, stroke, or diabetes reduced their risk of dying from a heart attack by 50% or more. All of this was discovered only in the last five years. And that's just the very tip of the iceberg. It's all so very simple, but at the same time, quite profound. Whole foods contain the natural nutrients that our bodies can recognize, absorb, and put to good use. After decades of cancer and disease research and billions of dollars spent, every single nonprofit health organization in the world is telling us to eat more whole foods.